Check, check. It's the AW. Joined by K Warren. En route. Be here soon, like 10 minutes time. Until then, you're stuck with me.
The chop novice, the other half of the infamous 18. I see ya and your mum's eight. At the Asian sensation, yeah. to the Mr. Noisy out to the Flossy, easy geez. Out to Teresa, I see ya. I can see you too, imprinted in my mind, bruv. Use my jingles. Two time was going to be up here himself tonight, but he's uh, otherwise engaged, unfortunately. Oh well, you got me. the chop noise I'll see you at work tomorrow bro I'll hear all your dirty degrading stories from tonight don't you worry about that
Everybody, I've got a little stream play out. I've got to go meet Kay Warren in the car park. I'll be back in a minute. Thank you.
and now we do it. Out to Steve, saying out to Charlotte Green. Picking up the Mr. Noisy, picking up all the Woken crew. Picking up Joe. Might be able to sort that out, mate. Out to Tuton. I'm not so sure about that one, mate. I think you have to go on it on your phone and then I think you go on the website there's a little iPhone downloader app. I think that's it. Saying hello from phase 180. Now, let's just put an R tune on while we set this MIDI controller thing up.
Picking up the Asian sensation. Picking up Lily. And picking up Wanny from Lily. Picking up John. I think we'll start the interview after this, Joan.
to Joe in Derby. That is a DJ and probably one of the most famous garage producers around, C.K. Warren. Watch and learn, guys.
Dia ambil kabar dia memang macam mana Out to the one like Smithy P. Out to the rest of the Harlow gang. 
bigging up my boy Lyricist. When you coming up here again?
at the Nelly. Out to Bimmer. Sorry, I didn't check the messages quick enough. Text me if you want a rewind. More like to see that flashing. to Lady Bimmer, old tight.
picking up the Chuck Norris, picking up Gemma, out to Lely. At the phase 180 on this one. Big and true. to all of the Fat Beats crew. Out to K Warren. Out to Phase 180. Base for an MC210 on this. Two ton even. Got a bit tongue tied. 
Mr. Big. It goes off with a hell of a bang like the ending scene in V for Vendetta. Wait, step back, just let V demonstrate. Blow the place up, they'll have to renovate. Fire, the only word on my resume. Burn the set, no doubt, don't hesitate. And we keep the flames ablaze. Vapor K, Warren, two Sun Taylor made. They say the game's on, so we came to play with fire. Setting it off straight away. Starting like TNT, we raise up the CEMP. Got girls on the guest list with free entry, and they won't want to be going home with that END. Turntables are turning, them flames are keep With a hell of a bang like the ending scene in V for Vendetta Wait, step back, just let V demonstrate Blow the place up, they'll have to renovate Fire, the only word on my resume Burn the set, no doubt, don't hesitate And we keep the flames ablaze Vapor K, Warren, two Sun Taylor made They say the game's on, so we came to play with fire Setting it off straight away Starting like TNT, we raise up the CEMP Got girls on the guest list with free entry And they won't want to be going home with that END Turntables are turning Yes, yes. 
Alright. I'm lucky this week to be joined in the studio by the one and only K Warren. Say hello, mate. How you doing, man? Just got to ask you a couple of questions. People have been sending me questions all week. So, here goes. You are now quite established as a producer, I would say. Being quite generally big in the game. Alright. What advice have you got for any up and coming producers that want to get like, involved in the scene? What, like, what to do, what to like, stay away from, and what to, who to approach? Really? Stay away from drugs, man. Yeah. Um, well, I think, I think you've got to have belief in your work. Um, you know, you've got to be objective about what you're doing as well. I mean, play your stuff to people that, that are established, that know what they're talking about. And, uh, and get some good feedback from you know from really good DJs that have played a lot of music. Shut my door. Is that the drum and bass room? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like a bit of drum and bass as well. Um, yeah. So I mean, like you know, how I started was uh, it was pure hobby, and you know, I was just experimenting with um, with you know getting uh, different equipment and just uh, putting things together and, uh, and you know hobby after a while to into a, a career, you know. Um, but uh, what was the question again? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, really, yeah, I mean, you've got to be objecti objective about your work and uh, and just, you know, and, and you've just got to believe in what you do. I mean, belief is a, a very powerful force and, uh, you know, so powerful that, you know, some people put out some not very good tracks, but they believe in themselves so much, and it, it, it ha something happens for them. You know what I mean? That's how powerful belief is. You know, I know it's very cliche. Oh, just believe in yourself. But it's actually a force. It's actually a power behind that. So, next question. If that's answered it, all right. <laughs> You've worked with a lot of artists over the years. Who's a favourite artist you've worked with and like why? Um, favourite artists, I mean God, I've worked with quite a few people. I mean, uh, you know, for two ton, uh, Joe Killington, um, has got to be one of my favourites. because, um, you know, well we're you know, we're good mates now and we, we write all sorts of music. Um, and um, you know, and then there's Leo of course, <coughs> who I done coming home with and you stress me. Um know, Richie Dan was a good artist. Um, you know, we've done a couple of tracks together. Um, yeah, I suppose those, those are my top. You? <laughs> oh, right, okay. Two times. Oh, we've got many of them now. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I've completely forgotten all the questions. People have sent me questions all week. And like they're watching, expecting me to answer their questions, their hopes and dreams. Nah, it's not on that. They're um, all their hopes and dreams resting on the answers K Warren gives, and I've gone and forgotten their questions. Um, here's a question. Do you want to have a mix? Okay, we're going to go straight back into the show, seeing as I've forgotten ev everything I have planned. <laughs> One of my personal favourites. I think this is the first time I heard two ton on a tune. Spread the same. 
many grants, many fills. That's all part of the East End life. That's when you're living in a trouble and strife. Slang, so language you stole for London. It's a form of communication. Join me here, my new operation. Spread the slang all over the nation. If you don't know me, I'm a decent chap. Five foot six with a brand like cat. I'm a cockney, but I like to rap because I like a bit of this, I like a bit of that. One for the money, two for the show. Three for the ladies in machine.
goes thought he'd mention that all them tracks that were played a minute ago by Mr K Warren were all his tracks so um was it mnemonic wasn't it yeah I've got that one in my bag actually but um that was you as well was it yeah well, when when you make that um we done that I think in 98 stroke 99 um you know not everyone knows I was uh, a member of the architects uh, when we done that tune and uh, we done a, a Whitney Houston remix and then we split after that. And I was um, just doing it alone sort of thing. But um, yeah, so that's kind of what kicked it off for me actually, that track when the door started opening after that, that remix. It was a bootleg remix. And um, you know, we, we went around, well, to uh, East West to begin with and um, announced it from the Nara and sort of passing the buck. Um, and then we just put it out ourselves. And I'm so glad we did that because opened up a lot of doors that track for us. Uh, well, they went on to have a hit with Body Groove, you know that tune. Yeah, 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 yeah that was afterwards. And, um, and, um, I yeah, that was their, their follow-up. And, um, you know, they went at the time I was putting out um, something in your eyes, uh, called it fate, all that sort of stuff. So, you know, so. No, no, not outdo each other, you know what I mean? It's, uh, you know, he's all doing our own thing before and we kind of got together through uh, a guy that we knew uh, for East West and um, you know we hooked up and uh, you know that came. Well, what happened was um, one of the guys one of the brothers uh, he popped around with the Brandy Monica vocals it was like an American import which had the acapella on there and uh, he asked me to get involved with Show Me The Money which he wrote uh, a while back and um, he asked me to help him produce it you know um, th this is before like the one that you actually hear and what happened was, um, I, um, yeah, he, his brother came round with the, um, the the American import, and he said, "Do you want to remix it?" I said, "Yeah, well, I love the original," and we ended up doing that, and, um, and I'm so glad we did. You know, that's the track that sort of opened up doors for us all. Uh, the 
boy's mind. Hmm. Yeah, we've done the, uh, well, like everyone remixed the, the Whitney Houston track, It's Not Right. It's okay, everyone had a stab at remixing that. But uh, yeah, after we did, did that track, um, you know, then we kind of went our separate ways. <laughs> Which I won't go into, you know. I haven't spoken to the guys for years, you know, I hope they're doing all right. They're still right. The last time I spoke to Ashley, which is one of the guys, another Ashley, um, he um, he was busy doing writing projects and stuff. So, uh, okay. yeah, so. yeah, man. Yeah, anything else? Anything else? Well, um, yeah, another big up to Two Ton and uh, an MC Vapor, um, you know, because that's the, the next track that's going to be promoted. Uh, Fire in the Hole. Yeah, we're pretty happy about that tune. Yeah, I'll, I'll hook you up. I thought you had it already, actually. Oh, right, I'll oh, with you. Yeah, because I thought I gave it to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh, that's all right. Yeah, big up to uh, the Phase 180 boys. Um, you know, we've done a track together called Fingers, and I've done that. Uh, ended up doing. It's like a, a kind of like a, like a pop track with kind of a bit of drumstep kind of uh, beats in it. Um, and I've done like a, a UKG mix of it as well. You know, which is the one that you have. Apart from UK Garage, what, are you, what else are you doing? Are you doing any hip hop, any dubstep, any drum and bass, anything like that? Any more projects in the pipeline? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm t well, all of the above really, sort of experimenting with all sorts of different music, because I love all different music. I mean, uh, people maybe know me from the garage, but I do, I mean, before that I was doing, like, you know, from reggae to drum and bass to hip hop, um, you know, because I just love making different styles of music. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, I better give my Twitter address uh, so people can find out what I'm still up to, which is uh, uh, K underscore Warren one. Um, I think the Facebook page is um, after the forward slash. It's uh, K Warren official, and uh, I'll just keep people updated with what I'm doing. And, uh, oh, actually, I've just set up a new YouTube account. I couldn't get access to my old one. I forgot the password, and there's all this other stuff. So. I've just set up a new YouTube. I've, I've found because you know when people upload peop other people's tracks, I just found a whole heap of my old tracks, and and found them and, and put them into like a, an archive. I've put old school archive, K Warren, I think, and uh, and recent projects. I've got my new bits on there. And me, Vapor, and Two Time, we've done um, a little video with my with my iPhone. So yeah, um, YouTube address. It's um, after the forward slash is I am K Warren, and that's how you find the U YouTube one. Yeah, yeah, you'll get, you'll find all the, the tracks and then other people's uploaded, and, uh, some new bits uh, as well with uh, that with Agro Santos as well. Yeah, um, there's a track um, actually that I've got on his album, um, and uh, we're working on a, a couple of new bits as well. Just got uh, re-signed again to another label in Europe. So, uh, yeah, man. He has. Um, well, there's a couple of things in the pipeline because I'm making new bits because uh, I've just been behind the scenes for a long time writing. Actually, the first track I played uh, for my set, is this going to be podcasted, do you know? Oh, okay. Uh, well, the first track, actually, is, uh, has been done with um, a girl called Gabriella Ellis. Uh, she's actually in uh, that series Made in Chelsea. I don't know if you heard of that, because, you know, like, there's The Only Way is Essex, and then, then you get uh, Made in Chelsea, the, the posh version. Sorry? Oh, right, okay, everyone's at it now, and then they're going to have the Welsh one next. And um yeah, Gabriella Ellis. Um, yeah, she's she was um, the singer on the first track that I played, actually. So yeah, I worked with Gabriella many years ago, and we hooked up, you know, more recently. And, uh, just been doing different bits and pieces. Actually, uh, on, on the YouTube site there is a video of her performing one of our tracks. So check that out. Yeah, check out the SoundCloud. I can't remember the address for that, but you know, you type in SoundCloud, stroke K Warren, and or K Warren official, K Warren one. But you know, but yeah. Yeah, some variation of Game Warren on the SoundCloud, but you know, look out for that. But um, yeah, anything else? anything else? I thought I'd squeeze my Twitter address and I always keep forgetting to uh, mention my Twitter. K underscore Warren one, as in like number one. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, you know, um, I'll, keep, uh, I'll keep that updated. Yeah, man. So how are we doing for time? We've got five more minutes. We'll do another like five minutes. Should we do some beatboxing, some rapping, and a beat or something? Yeah. <laughs> Get your 
missus to do something. No? Oh. I could have sworn he was harmonising to one of my tracks that I was playing earlier on. I could have sworn he was doing a harmony to one of the tunes. Unless you fluke the harmony, you just, it was out of key, but it's so far out that it ended up being the harmony. <laughs> Actually, uh, with that Brandy track, I ended up doing a 4-4 four four mix of it, which sounds a little bit more... No, no. That's on the YouTube site, anyway. That 4-4 four four mix that I've done. the ride like a roller coaster are you ready reload the fire this tune will take your eye out here come the beeline ready for beeline here come the beeline ready for beeline you want the reload we want the reload yes on the way come a never call sniper see my target aim and the fire i watch out this coming by fire riding lyrics like a roller coaster on the mic i'm a never call sniper see my target aim and fire Watch out, it's coming right for ya Riding in the flank, come on the coaster I just roll that track It's coming down, it's coming in fat Pump up the bass, cut out the hi-hat Full of the rave and shout Boom, shout, attack to the rhythm we roll I get into this, get into that bow For the big one too Rock right up, special take a new food
Next one's last one from us for tonight. Got things to do. People to see. You know the go. My tree. 